Welcome back to the channel guys for today's Clash of Clans video we are back on the Town Hall 9 for a let's play episode bringing you the Queen Charge into Hog Riders how to use it and having some fun so let's get into it Alrighty guys, before we get into the Queen Charge into Hog Riders, we have the army composition cooked up, ready to go. Let's give you a quick rundown as to where I am at on my Town Hall 9, because it has been months since we brought you a Let's Play episode. We upgraded to Town Hall 9. We brought you an upgrade guide as to what to upgrade, but since then, we've really only focused on the Town Hall 9 strategy videos per se. If you do want to check any of them, them out the playlist will be in the pinned comments but we have still been working in the background we have managed to follow a lot of the principles from my upgrade guide in that we have the archer queen past level five so we have the ability massive guys have you got it you certainly want to get your hero abilities then we have the clan castle upgraded we can now get 30 troop capacity again huge for town hall 9 brand new for town hall 9 we have the third Dark Elixir Drill built and upgraded all of the way you want to do that to upgrade your heroes as fast as possible and we also have the army camps upgraded in terms of the laboratory the ones I recommend and the ones I have done are the balloons and the lava hounds that will enable us to do a lava loon as well as the hog riders which we're going to show you today so why don't we first show you one of the attacks from the fantastic subsidium break this down so you know how to use it before we do some attacks ourselves and if you're new to the channel here be sure to subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss out on daily educational and entertaining clash of clans videos be sure to use code judo as well if you want to support me in game but let's get into the breakdown of this attack before i try with my low level heroes to get this done for this one, guys, we have four Earthquake spells. Now, for me, because I have that level six Archer Queen, I think we're going to use the Wall Breakers. Just because the Rage and the Heal extra spells to help support my main army, I think will be better. However, if you can get good pathing through the base so you don't have to use Wall Breakers and you can get damage onto key defenses, you might want to use the Earthquakes. That will ensure, in this example, that the Queen gets straight into the middle of the base, exactly what she needs. But the first thing you need to do is ensure the Queen goes where you want her to go. So make sure the funnel is set either side. In this one, we have a couple of wizards at the north of the base to stop the Queen walking around that side. And also the Barbarian King on the right hand side, whilst taking out the enemy Barbarian King as well. That drives the Queen into the centre of the base which is very very important because we're going to get a couple of key things here the enemy archer queen should be top of your priority list hog riders they cannot fight back so you have to take down the troops which will attack the hog riders that is the archer queen the barbarian king and the clan castle troops if you know what's in there you can sometimes get away with leaving the barbarian king but you'd have to know that he's not going to do too much damage onto the hog riders so so when the queen goes down the clan castle troops go down notice what has happened here not only have we taken down some key defenses we have created pathing so the entire middle of the base is down and whilst hog riders then come in from the right hand side a little bit surgically to begin with it means because the core of the base is down the hog riders can loop down and around the base now that is key if you know where your hog riders are going to go then you can pre-plan your heal spells which will result in a better outcome now you need to be somewhat flexible for example when giant bombs go off you might have to adjust the planning of your spell placement use that heal a little bit earlier but essentially the more you can plan the attack the more you know where the hog riders will go the better now i want to point this out to you as well any splash damage buildings on the back end of the base you need to ensure you have 
tanked or you have covered with a spell. I like the use of the two balloons in this example because whilst it turns the wizard tower in the wrong direction, what it also does is completely distract it. Because I don't know if you were aware, let me know if you do know this, but a wizard tower cannot shoot at both ground and air troops at the same time. Even if they are standing in the exact same spot, it will not do splash damage. It can only attack ground or air troops. So by sending in a couple of loons, we completely distracted it. So you want to take out key buildings and defenses, Archer Queen, Barbarian King, Clan Castle, any expos, wizard towers, anything like that is crucial. Create pathing for the hog riders and make sure you know where they are going so you can use the heal spells wisely. Distract back end splash damages and make sure you don't time fail. Get some cleanup troops in. We had wizards, minions and even goblins in this one, but let's get out there and see what I can do in terms of this Town Hall 9 Let's Play. Okay, check it out guys, we have managed to find a base with 900,000 gold, 800,000 elixir and 5k dark elixir. Pretty awesome. Now it does look relatively maxed, no queen though, so that's pretty good. What do we do here? Low level troops, remember, kind of need to test the clan castle. I think let's go with the king to create a little bit of a funnel. Let's go with the Queen, a Balloon and the Healers and let's go with just a couple of Hog Riders to start off here. They might be able to sneak that ar Archer Tower there. That will really be able to help me out moving forward. Tesla does pop, but the Hog Riders are doing okay. Can send one Test Wall Breaker in. King's Ability. And I don't quite need the Rage Spell yet. Wall Breakers did a good job there in fact. And they get through. They cannot just yet. Hmm. Let's go with another rage. Let's go with a few of the wall breakers. We really only need to get through this one area. One more balloon as well. Wall breakers get through. They will open the next layer as well, which is good. We can get two hog riders to this area. Gotta be careful with my hog riders though. If I use too many of them, then I won't have enough to finish off the base. But let's have a look here. We still got one wall breaker that we have to use in combination with a rage spell to get through. Got to get close to that clan castle as well. So let's find out what happens. We're not going to need the poisons. Tesla does indeed lock onto my wizards, which is not ideal. Let's go with the rage here, followed by the wall breaker. That will open up that wall. Come on, let's get it open before the queen walks. It's open. Let's now go with the hog riders from this side. Try and protect my queen. A few more hogs down to the bottom. Wizards around. And then let's go with the heal spells as needed. Let's keep an eye on these hogs. Let's go heal nice and early because we've got that wizard tower down the bottom. We've got two other wizard towers though. Could have really got a little bit more from my queen. I'm going to have to use a heal in the middle here to try and protect as many hogs as possible. Remember, it's about the pathing. It's about protecting the hogs. Two giant bombs went off and really took a lot out of my hogs. Let's see if we can distract this back end wizard tower. Let's get a poison onto the skellies. Minion to try and distract it as the hog riders come through. Minion was probably a touch early. Still got a couple of skellies. Let's get another poison because we need them down. Queen is doing a good job. We've got goblins and an archer to try and help out. Hog riders not quite getting it. We've got the queen's ability with the healers. I don't think this is a bad attack given that we have gone up against a near maxed base. We've got to press the queen's ability. Oh, it was a mistake. I was thinking we've got to press it to try and get through the wall, get the expo, and it turned to the wizard. I'm not sure if we're going to get it. 23k elixir. Come on, let's at least get the elixir. Where is it? Where is it hiding? One little goblin. A sneaky goblin gets across and gets that. So we do indeed get all of the loot. I don't think that was too bad for a level 6 archer queen charge not recommended. I would probably say if you're asking me about levels, it depends on the level of base you're going up against, but I would say at least level 10. 10 to 15 is when you could comfortably do it. 900,000. That is going to help in our quest to upgrade the base. So let's request some troops again. We've got the army cooking up in the background. And let's have a look at this. I think we've got some loot in the treasury. I haven't got anything researching at the moment. We could go with the dragons. 
I would definitely... Or we could go with the Valkyries. Valkyries are pretty good, guys. In terms of a Hog Rider attack, you might be able to use them. I think we will go with the Dragons, though, because a Town Hall 9 pushing strategy can be very much demonstrated with the Dragons. Looking at other things, we can upgrade the Queen, but let's wait until the end of the episode. Hidden Tesla, let's get one of them upgrading. And let's come back when we have the troops ready to go for a second attack. Well, I managed to stumble across this base with 600,000 gold and nearly 600,000 elixir. What kind of loot have you been finding recently and what league are you farming in? Normally, I don't farm this low. It's just kind of happened on my Town Hall 9. But I'm actually finding pretty good loot, guys. So let's have a look at this. The queen's on the outside of the base. So I think we start with the archer queen down to the bottom. Probably don't need to do anything special here. We can just put the, heal the healers in. And look at that. One coconut loon soaks up the black bomb. Let's get another balloon in there just to make sure. And then we should be good. The queen will walk to the bottom. Let's keep an eye. Do we use a rage? No, we don't. Let's rage now, though, because the Queen is going to take a lot of damage here. A couple of wall breakers coming in. That will get the Queen into the base here, which is good. Let's use the King on the outside. Uh, we can get a Hog Rider or two on the outside as well with a Wizard to help out. And this looks good. We can actually use a Balloon and a Hog Rider to take down that Tesla. Try and ensure the Queen goes in here. Come on, Queen. Don't go up to the Tesla, Queen. She's going to as well. She's going to... I'm going to get another Hog Rider in and a Wizard just to try and force the Queen in here. That might have been enough to force the Queen back into the base. I might have just got fortunate. King's ability. Come on, Queen. She's not going to. She's going to go on the outside. She does. Uh, let's go with a few Rage Spells. A few Wall Breakers even. Getting mixed up here. Rage Spell coming in. A few more Wall Breakers. We actually bust open the start. That is awesome. Right, let's get the Hog Riders on the outside now. A few others from the top. Let's keep an eye on that Queen. Let's look at the heal spells as well. They do take a bit of damage. So after the Wizard Tower, we do have the other spells there. Let's try and get the Queen into the base now. So I'm spamming everything from this side. We can slow down the King with a Poison. Use another heal for the Hog Riders. Queen still doesn't want to go into the base. Let's use a Wall Breaker. Try and draw her in can use goblins on the outside. Let's get an archer onto probably this builder hut. Goblins on the outside. We've got to hope that we can get through. Let's put... I went to poison the king and he turned around. <laughs> the barbarian king is not our friend on defense, but my hog riders do get through the base. This one was a little bit more under leveled than the last one. But hey, if you find loot that is that strong, then you've got to go for it. We did get a bit unfortunate with the king. On this one, taking out some hogs, my queen walking around the base tried to adapt, but at least it protected my little queen. At least it protected my little queen. What would you guys like to see for this Town Hall 9 Let's Play? I will be sure to continue bringing you attacks, not just of the strategy, but also of me doing the attacks as well. Now, this one's going to be close. This one's going to be close. We spammed the wizards in without thinking about the Builder Huts, but check it out. My... I was going to say my Archer Queen, but my two goblins, they know what's up. They go straight to the Builder Hut. They take it out and ensure that we do indeed get another three star on this one. So pretty good. We get the star bonus as well. Let's go ahead and collect everything, see where we are at. And in terms of upgrades, how long will the Archer Queen be down? One day. So let's go ahead. I'm going to screenshot this, probably put it over on Instagram as well. But let's get that Archer Queen upgrading. It will end the boost, but that's going to be the end of the episode as well. Just a couple of Let's Play attacks. Again, let me know what you want to see next. We probably will bring some upgrades to our walls. I've got the level one walls. I like them. It's woody. It is woody. So I'll probably upgrade them next episode, guys. Showcase that to you. Just try and keep your builders working. So let's get a giant bomb upgrading as well. That's going to wrap it up for this one. If you do want to know specific Town Hall 9 strategies, I'm going to link the playlist on your screen right now that you can check out. But be sure to follow on the page for more Clash of Clans. We will be back with a Town Hall 9 Let's Play in a few days. So be sure to stay home, guys. Be sure to stay safe. And you have a good one.